Hi everyone, welcome back to part 2 of Rubik's Cube tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a cross. This is step 1 of making a Rubik's Cube and when I say a cross, this is what I am talking about. Now here, we will be making a white cross. I prefer white cross because white is very visible. You may prefer to choose any other color. Okay, steps are essentially same. So let's understand how to make a cross. But before we start making a cross, what we need to understand is when we make a cross, what we need to observe is that the edge base and the center base has to align that is they should match now if you observe here the edge base is red and here the edge base is blue now this is not at all aligned this is incorrect everywhere you can see the edge piece and the center piece they are not aligned properly that is the colors are mismatched they are not matching so what we are looking out for is this type that is we have a proper white cross and the center and the edge piece, the colors they are aligned, that is they are matched. Observe, here edge piece is green, center piece is green. Red edge piece, red center piece. Blue edge piece, blue center piece. Orange edge piece, orange center piece. Green edge piece, green center piece. This is what we are looking out for, so keep that in mind. So let's start with this tutorial. Now, first of all, what I generally do is, suppose if I'm making a white cross, what you need to do is just keep it down now by doing so it is very easy to observe where are the edge pieces located okay now edge piece has three possible positions either it could be here in the top layer or it could be here in the middle layer the way it is here right or it could be in the bottom layer like for example this one so these are the only three positions so look at this we have one in the top layer second in the middle layer third here and let's find the fourth fourth is also in the second layer okay so you should always have a edge piece in the top layer then we are going to rotate it back and bring it to the down layer now we already have one over here and this is a beautiful example to start with you should always have white in the top layer but also one more thing the white should be here on the top but observe white is here on the side and how does it affect see intuitively if i just rotate and try to bring it here observe white should be here and orange should be here but then the colors are flipped now such kind of piece is called as flipped case now what we do in flipped case now first of all observe we have orange color and fortunately it is above the orange center piece so whatever edge piece you want it over here we should have it exactly opposite in the top layer now here i want this edge piece to be here so i have brought it here in the top layer exactly opposite now this is a flipped case so whenever you get a flipped case this is what you need to do this is the algorithm you'll find it over here okay so what you should do is u f r i f i see that edge piece which was flipped now it is properly aligned okay so here we have proper math now let's locate the other one you can see the other one is here so step one get it aligned with the centerpiece now here the edge piece is green so we need to properly align with the centerpiece so here i've aligned it and observe we already have the white color on the top so what we just need to do is just rotate this and you will see that it aligns with the white and here the center is aligned so we have made two pieces as of now orange and green let us try to locate the other one now here it is blue now observe as i said i need to bring it here i want this edge piece here it should be exactly opposite well the white is already on the top just a rotation like this in the anti-clockwise direction will bring it here and is properly aligned so making a cross is fairly easy i just need to work out one more now observe the next edge piece is stuck over here and also observe that this edge piece is already aligned so if i try to move like this this is already getting spoiled but then we have a solution this is in the second layer so if i take it like this this piece goes to the third layer and the one which is getting disturbed it goes into the second layer so if i move the top layer it doesn't affect this one so get it back here so you need to be 
So while you're solving, you need to be observant what is happening. You cannot just randomly apply everything and you'll get the proper solution. Okay. So I want this page to be here. So it is as of now, it is exactly placed opposite to it. And it is, if you observe white color is in the side, it's not on the top. So it's a flip case. So the algorithm was U, F, R, I and F, I. Look at this. We have a beautiful cross properly aligned with the centerpieces green matches with green centerpiece red edge piece matches with the red centerpiece and all those so this is what we are looking out for so guys once you have mastered this i'll see you in part three of this tutorial where we are going to learn how to insert the corner pieces over here so till then see ya bye